Well, hello and welcome back, guys. If it is your first time here, my name's Jen and I am a self taught nail enthusiast. And in today's video, I am going to play around with these Savvy Land clays. I am super excited to do something 3D and still Halloween. So let's go ahead and get started. So, while I use the Melody Susie Black to paint this nail, which by the way, if you do not watch the video on this nail set, this is the best black I have ever seen. It's a one coat black and honey, she's shiny. Oh my God, and she's beautiful. But anyway, so while I'm painting this, I'm gonna tell you where my inspo comes from. So if you follow Nails by Dev on either Instagram or YouTube or wherever else she posts, then you will have seen her Tales from the Crypt nail. Now, if you saw that nail, then you saw like the bones, bone nails that she created to go along with that look. And when I tell you, holy hell, they were magnificent. Now, she went more of like a gore way with this. And she also did them like freestanding, like they were bones coming out of her finger. I more so just want to create like a 3D bone sitting on a black background. And then I'm going to top it with like glow in the dark polish. So it's not a recreation, it's more just like an inspiration, right? So that is what we're doing today. And I get to play with the clay. This is one coat. One freaking coat and this is the blackest, shiniest gel polish I've ever seen in my entire life. So I will have a code for my Melody Susie products down below and you can shop for this. This is their new like professional polish. I'm just kind of making sure there's no hair or fuzz on here. So, and I probably should have gotten that little edge off down here, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. I'm only gonna do one coat because this is just a practice nail. I'm only doing one nail today. I'm not doing like a whole set of these. I just kind of wanted to play around with the clay and just see what I could create with it. So, now I'm just gonna matte top coat this because I just think it'll look nice with a matte background. The first thing that I have to do is mix together my colors. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use white and the color ivory to mix together like an off-white shade. So let's just move these guys out of the way. Oh, and here is the black matte nail. It is gorgeous. I'm just gonna set that to the side. And I have a little palette that I just wiped off before we started with some alcohol. These gloves are a little big, so I'm gonna like constantly be pulling on them, sorry. So I'm just gonna take a bit of the white with a cuticle pusher. I probably won't need all of this, but I'm gonna use as much as I can. Now, obviously mine is not gonna be as long as Nails by Dev because I'm doing it on a nail and so I'm limited to the size of the nail, but I wanna just make it fit on there. I still want it to be striking, you know what I mean? And uh, you gotta make sure to wear gloves with this stuff because you're not supposed to touch it with your hands. So I'm just gonna get to mixing and hopefully I can get this really nice sort of off-white shade that I like, so. Ivory is a little yellow and I'm thinking that like bones are not crystal white. So that's why I wanted to mix it with something, but I didn't want to go as dark as brown. Yeah, I am liking the color. And I know the color is going to get a little distorted with the glow in the dark top coat only because it's almost like this off green shade, like a translucent greenish yellow but i'm liking this color i wonder if i should add in just a teensy bit of brown i don't know i think it looks good it's almost like a tooth shade you know like that's what we're going for here okay now i'm gonna start sort of shaping the top joint so i want to make two little balls and i'm just gonna roll them together in between my fingers and then I'll put them on the nail. And basically you can use like a brush dipped in alcohol to smooth and shape everything just like you would poly gel. This stuff is great. I mean, honestly, I feel like this would be really good for people like myself that don't work with acrylic, but you still wanna be able to mold and create like really cool 3D designs. So that's what I'm using it for. I almost think maybe they should be just a smidge smaller 
but we'll see once I get it on the nail. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make them a teensy bit smaller, <laughs> just a little bit. So let me go ahead and get sort of like a simple shape and then I'll be back. Now, get your minds out the gutter, you nasties, okay? I had to look up like what a bone looks like. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use my alcohol to kind of get everything to like stick together and not look like. What is it, son? I don't know, sir, but it looks like a giant. Pecker! Oh, where? Wait, that's not a woodpecker. It looks like someone's... Privates! We have reports of an unidentified flying object. It is a long, smooth shaft, complete with two balls. What is that? That looks just like an enormous... Johnson. Yes, sir. You know, separate pieces. So I'm just dipping in a little bit of alcohol and kind of getting it to kind of like mush and be one piece. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little piece right here and just kind of stick it on top. We'll just kind of you know, hide the seams a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then I can kind of take it and like hide all the seams that are here. Perfection. So that's gonna be like the first part that I'm gonna put on here. Okay, so I'm gonna keep molding this with the alcohol to kind of smooth this out, and then I'm gonna put it on the nail. What I have, and I actually stuck it on some form paper so that I could cure it in the lamp, and it's gonna go on the nail this way. So this is gonna be the top, this will be the mid. I'm gonna do like a longer piece, and then a third piece that's kind of pointy, like coming to the end. So let me just go ahead and cure this. I had to look up like, what does a bone look like? Like a bone and, and nails. Like I had to look up a lot of stuff. So don't mind me. Okay, I'll be back. All right. So for the other piece, I kind of just created like a long piece, but I do need to make sure that it's not too long. And I already think it is. So this is gonna go here. I'm just gonna use this to kind of pick this up real quick because I still want like a pointy end piece. Yeah, it's gonna be too big. So I'm gonna break off some more and I'm probably gonna like take this whole piece off right there. Okay, then again, just gonna mix it up and I'm gonna make it into like just a log basically. This is like playing with Play-Doh. Honestly, it's bringing me back to my childhood. It is fun, it's easy. All right, I just wanna make sure that what I've got going on now is not too long. And then I'm gonna like form the edges. It still is too long, damn it. So maybe I just make it a little shorter, that's all. So I'm just gonna kinda make it a little bit shorter by squishing it. I'm just gonna make it a little fatter, which is fine. It's totally fine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the edges, not the edges, but the ends, and I'm gonna start making them into like the bulbous ends. I need a little bit more alcohol. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of start and flattening out these edges. And you can even use like different tools to do this with. I don't know, I might not get a pointy end. Maybe I should just do two pieces. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we can get. All right, I'm kind of rounding this. And then I wanna like take something and like slit it. Do my little dotting tool, cause it'll give it a curve. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I mean, this is my cuticle pusher. Just rounding the edges so we can kind of make like a circular bone on the end. Instead of doing like the ball method. <laughs> And as I go, I, I like this is honestly, it's so fun to play with the stuff. Cause like I said, it literally is like Play-Doh. You are just having like the time of your life. <laughs> Have you guys ever, I'm curious, like has anyone that watches my videos ever worked with this stuff? Because I have not, but honestly, it's really cool. And I also want to know, what are you guys doing for Halloween? Huh? What is everybody up to? I'm not like dressing up, but I'm taking my son to many, many events. They have trunk or treats. They've got all kinds of stuff going on this year. My oldest son, I mean, I don't anticipate him like trick or treating this year, but he'll probably just hang out with his friends, you know? We shall see. 
All right, this ain't working. I'm not getting the desired effect. So I may have to go back in with a little bow, but I'm gonna take it from here, I think. So I'm just gonna work from this one. I'm gonna make a ball and I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna take one from this end and I'm just gonna kind of keep pinching off this piece cause I don't wanna add any more to it to make it too big for the nail. And it's okay if they're not the same size because no bone is like shaped the same. Maybe I can get two out of this. We'll see. I think that's the better option. It's just kind of like making little balls on the end and then sort of like molding them together. That is very large. I don't know if that's... <laughs> I know it looks terrible right now, but once you kind of mold it and you play with it, it definitely gets easier. And now I'm just gonna kind of keep working with the alcohol to flatten all the seams and make sure that you can't see any like seams where I sort of put stuff together, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Cause right now it just looks like my child did this. And as a matter of fact, he probably would have done a better job at it. So I'm just gonna keep working with the brush, keep kind of like melting these seams together, melting the shape together and then I will show you guys what it looks like. This is what we are working with so far. I just kind of like when I went to cure this, I stuck this guy in the top and cured them together, flipped them over and cured them. Oh my God. Let's set it on the nail. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm loving it. Looks a little bit like a dog bone, but that's okay. That's okay. That's it's okay. I am gonna go in with my file, my e-file maybe, just gonna clean things up a bit. But now I'm making the pointy end, the showstopper, okay? So I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I don't know. I really want like a sharp point and for whatever reason, she doesn't wanna play. She doesn't wanna stick for me. I'm gonna stick these guys over here and I'm just gonna stick her to this paper. See if that works, I don't know. I just want like a nice little point on the end, okay? <laughs> like I said, I know it's looking a little dog bone-ish, which is fine, it's fine. So let's get over here and I'm just kind of mixing this together. Mixing all these guys back together so that I can just create something that looks cute. So I'm gonna start with two little balls and I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna kind of do it on the end of here just because. So I have one ball. I think I need to make it a little bit smaller. It's really hard with these gloves on, by the way, because they're freaking way too big for my finger. Oops, get back over here. All right, so I'm gonna start with a little ball. I'm gonna go right here. Okay, or not. I'm gonna go right there. And then I'm gonna take the other one and I'm gonna go right next to it. And then I'm going to just take a piece and kind of just, I don't know, make like a little snake with it, right? Oh my God, it's stuck in my glove. I wish this, I wish you could touch this stuff with your fingers because it's really annoying. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of roll it like a little snaky poo into a point. Now, I know it's gonna be too big. I know it's too long already, but the point is just kind of get it there. Right, and then I'm gonna kind of double it over, flip it on top of itself so that it's nice and thick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like molding this and saying the things that I'm saying. My brain is just, I'm a child. I am a child. All right, let's get to work it. Kill it, kitties. All right, I just wanna get like the general shape and then I want to make it pointy. See, the problem is it's like slipping and sliding over here and I don't know why. And then there's freaking lint everywhere. Like this guy has something stuck in him. I'm hoping when I put that glow in the dark top coat on, or maybe I could just use my drill to like get it off, I don't know. All right, I am just trying to make this pointy and I will file it. Like I have no problem using my file to make this even pointier. So I'm just trying to get a general shape to be honest with you. Um, it's a bit like tiny, that's the problem. Like it's too tiny in respect to the other nails that are very like big and like bulbous. I don't know. I wish I would have done a little bit skinnier, but you live and you learn. 
I mean, it looks cool. Like I'm looking at it in the viewfinder and it does look kind of cool like this. All right, I don't hate it. Okay, so the whole thing is now just smoothing. You guys know that. So I'm gonna keep working, I wanna smooth. And then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Ooh, now it is time to glue the pieces on. So I'm going to start, oh gosh, I, every time I do something, um, it, that stuff kind of leaves like a residue on the nail for whatever reason. I don't know. I've cleaned them off with alcohol multiple times. So let's just let this dry and I'm going to add some right up top. Oh, excuse you, mister. So I'm going to add some right up top, kind of like in a bone shape. Why not? All right. And I'm going to take and stir it. That's the wrong damn piece. <laughs> I'm going to take and stick this little fella right on here, but I need him to be straight. And then I need to wipe that off because I want a matte background. So this crap's got to go. So get the hell off of there. Make sure he's where, okay. And I'm gonna cure it with this little lamp over here. As you can see, I'm just flash curing it to make sure that it's in the right spot and centered on nail. There's a lot of glue that's kind of sticking out, but I might have to top coat it again with matte top coat just to seal everything on there. So that'll, that should potentially fix that problem. So, so far so good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the other guys on. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. And I wonder if it would be easier just to add the glue to this and then stick it on there. Let's try that. So I'm just adding the glue right to the little bone that I made as if it were like Elmer's glue, <laughs> you know? All right, this stuff is great because honestly, you can glue all kinds of stuff with it. So I think I had this piece up top. I did file them with the file. I don't know, it's okay. Kind of messed up a couple pieces, but I don't hate it. Let me see here. Why are they not going together now? I feel like something is not right. I wonder if I were to flip it over this way and do it like that. Hmm. Let me see. I just want to see something. Yeah, okay. They go together. My only regret is I wish I would have made them just a bit smaller. But if you were to wear this, because of the black, like it almost looks like you have this bone. That's really freaking cool. Okay, anyway, sorry. I'm messing with this too much, but I need to, um, that one's on. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this guy on because I can sort of fix them. Very cool. I'm loving this. I'm loving the way this is turning out. It looks so freaking cool. Make this guy nice and straight. And I believe we have a winner. That is so freaking cool. I'm going to bring this right here so you can see it as it cures. I'm loving it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to cure this baby and then I'm going to show you the final reveal with the glow in the dark top coat and the matte background. So I'll be back. All right. Are we ready to see it glow? Oh, come on. Oh, it's daylight. So it's so hard to see but it is glowing. Oh man, it's got this like beautiful yellow hue to it. It looks amazing. Let me see here. Hello. <laughs> I'm trying to get my other lamp on, but I love it. I think it turned out so cool. Oh man, like a full set of these. Let me see if I can get this stuff out and just look at it on my thumb. Like, could you imagine like a full set of this for a Halloween costume? That would be oh, circ. I love it. I love it. I think it's so cool. Oh God. I'm obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed with this nail. This is so much fun to create. And whoever was the first creator of this nail clay, kudos to you because you opened up like a whole new world for people like me that are just having fun at home with nails. So I'm super excited for that. This was not a sponsored video by any means, but I will have those clays linked down below. I got them off of Amazon and they were really fun and easy to work with. And there were two different color selections, I think, that you could choose from from Savvyland. I got that one, I think, because it had the white and black in it. But 
I love the colors that I chose because it's this sort of like yellowish off-white color, very bone color. I really wish that this would fit in the finger, but the nail is like way too big for my little fake finger. I mean, I could maybe somehow like bamboozle it in there for, oh, okay. For a picture, I can bamboozle it in there and it looks pretty freaking cool. So I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I didn't want to go gory with this. I just wanted to have some bones on a nail and I think it's amazing. So thank you guys so much for spending time and watching me create this really cool bone effect with the clay. It was so much fun. And don't forget, before you leave, to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I've got plenty more Halloween nails on the way and I cannot wait for Christmas either. But I love you guys and hit that bell notification before you leave so you never miss a Manny with me. Bye guys. <laughs>